It's the Open Mic Show with Steve Starr and Cash West. And we are back with episode 14, the Open Mic Show with Steve Starr and Cash West. I am your host, Cash West. I think this is 15, actually. But I'm Steve Starr. Is it really 15? I think we did 14 yesterday. Fuck! You're an episode behind, Cash. It's the Open Mic Show with Steve Starr and Cash West. With Steve Starr and Cash West. I am your host, Cash West. And it's Steve. Uh, deja vu? Maybe. <laughs> All right, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, I've had a rough day. Cash has had one of them days where you just kind of want to break something without Ooh, breaking something. I wish I could play that song by that band. Hard. Well, you, uh, you can... Hard Hard Croissant is the band. No, you, you can say names and, and I was, It was song. a joke, Limp Biscuit, Hard Croissant, get it? Hard Croissant. <laughs> All right, so, um, yeah, I had a So, big... is the title of the song, Fix Things? Yes. <laughs> Put things together. <laughs> Make them neat and nice. All right, so, yeah, no, I, I, I definitely had a day where I wanted to fucking break everything, but it wasn't, I didn't want to hurt anybody. I didn't want to take it out on anyone. I wanted to just take a board and karate chop it and be like, kia, motherfucker. <laughs> Keanu, yeah. motherfucker. Kia. So, um, no, I've just had a lot going on lately. Um, I had to step away from a position I very much enjoyed uh, for the fact that I wasn't enjoying it because of other things in my life keeping me from being happy. Um, so I had to, I had to unfortunately step away from that. But I love every single last person in that place, and I will continue to promote that place. And if that place has any questions that they need of me, I am here and readily available. So shout out to the crew over there at, uh, you know where you're at. Um, and eventually I'll be able to say that place. So, uh, yeah. <coughs> anyway, let's move on. <coughs> we are, oh, what, uh, what rap is that? Is yes, that the uh, Apple one? No, it's the other one. Fuck. We just, I had to use it. Okay. I didn't have, we you're didn't getting have, away from your mic. We didn't have the cash to, to go. throw in to go and get the new flavor today. Yeah. You got to so. move that over here if you want to look at me. No. Nah, I know I'm pretty. So we'll just put it right there up on me like that so I can. Um, Still be heard. Okay, gotcha. I'll turn this up just a hair too, I don't just in think case. You don't need it. No, nah, you just sometimes you do tend to. I don't know. <laughs> Should be all right. Okay, so um, I was going to read the top line of this note, and then I realized that had nothing to do with the show. <laughs> no, that's absolutely nothing to do with the I'm show. I'm trying to fix my lawnmower, um, so I can make some cash on the side. Ah, cash wants to make some cash. I thought that's why you are cash, is because you're the master of money. No. I wish. Um, <laughs> you got one of them money trees in your backyard. Ooh, that'd be sweet. I, okay. If I had a money tree in my backyard, what? Well, let's first off, pescacatient at gmail dot com is the email. What would you do if you had a money tree in your backyard? Or you can comment on any of the social, well, at least the YouTube, and tell us the same thing. But yeah, what would you do if you had a money tree? What would you do? So I'm going to point this out real quick before uh, you go into the explanation that if you had a money tree in your backyard. Technically, you do. How's that? Well, what do they print money on? Tree? What do they print money on? I think on? they use alien trees. They use paper. <laughs> I'm just kidding. They use paper and dyes and fiber and fabrics. Yeah, no. They okay. should be doing it on a hemp. So, uh, what's paper made from? The tweens. So, don't you have a money tree in your backyard, technically speaking? No, because I don't see any of that fucking money for well, that. Well, cut it down and go print some cash. <laughs> I'm more about saving the trees, bro. I'm not a tree hugger. But I think we should be using hemp to make our paper and such. Oh and yeah, more. It's, it's a renewable so resource. Um, why why cut our trees down when we can when hemp grows twice as fast? You know what I mean? Like we could double our output of we could have paper for days, and guess what the price would be on it? Cheap. Dender mufflin. Dender. I'd start ten dender dender mufflins if I had a <laughs> dender paper muffling, uh, hemp, paper hemp processing. Farm. <laughs> yeah, hemp farm. Time to start dandler mufflins. Would you call it Tegrity if you owned a farm? Oh, not for copyright infringement to South Park, but I would call it something <laughs> similar. I'd come up with a good name. That that episode was great, though. Tally is one of the best characters ever. <coughs> All right, I got to remove those. Um, I know they work, but they bother me. All right, so um, I think mine are getting to me too. I want to just announce that 
Not only do I love Pizza Hut already, but I would love them even even more if I still drank. But Cash doesn't drink. Cash just smokes on these fat fucking I'm lungs. Big as normal. Still fat. <laughs> Ooh, hits good too. So, uh, <coughs> Pizza Hut. <laughs> not only do they have the cheese at pizza, we still haven't fucking tried. Which we may just go take a trip in a little bit. Um, we'll have <coughs> we will have it taken care of by a show next week. Yeah. Um, not only do they have the cheese at pizzas. Not only do they have stuffed crust pizza. And not only do they have the twenty dollar big box meal, which you cannot ever pass up, um, they're adding beer. That's going to make so many people happy. Oh, how'd you get Mario Kart for for your phone? That's an app. Oh. It just came out today. Really? Yeah. So if you didn't know, the Mario Kart app came out today, and it's actually playing Mario Kart like one hundred percent. Is it phone uh, motion? No, 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 no. It's so basically, you don't touch it unless you want to turn or want to fire off. Oh, your... is it tap? Yeah, well, okay, so what it is is the car drives itself, and then, here, I'm just going to load it up and show you, but uh, it's it's pretty interesting. Really? But the car is self-propelled, and then you just take your thumb or your finger and swipe across when you re- when you want to turn. Right. Oh, I can get two items per box there, I get bonus points there, and I get bonus points there. I'm cool with that. Okay, well, do you got it up yet? Yeah, I'm entering a race right now. Um, shy guy. No, that's not who I'm being. Be shy guy. I can't. <sighs> so it's like other mobile games where you get people and you only get, you have to like, it's rewards. To, oh. Yeah, it's rewards. You have you to uh, earn people. them as you go. Yep. So I have Toad and Bowser as the two people I can use right now. <coughs> See, car is It's got some uh, pretty good graphics. Oh, easy. Got it. Okay. How do you uh, use your... Hold on. Oh, okay. And I will show you. So he just got a box. He yeah. got a red shell, looks yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you can't show me because he just ran into you and took it. Yeah. <laughs> no, I launched it. It just, because right. there it was up there. Um, so you just tap your screen when you get a box. When you get a box? Yeah. Okay. Like Simple I got enough. a coin yeah, and yeah. then I got the green shell. I feel like I would get a little finger happy and I would go off the fucking road. See, you just tap. Yeah. Okay, so Mario Kart released today on probably the Apple Store and oh, it's definitely uh, on the, the Google Play store. Google Play Store. Um, I'm going to get that. As a matter of fact, as soon as my phone charges some more, I'm going to download it. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I re-downloaded Angry Birds too, because Birds. I love Angry Birds. I know it hasn't been talked about in a long time, but Angry Birds it's is the, a good relax like movie. Getting ready, to come but it's out. a relaxing game if you have stress because you get to break things with birds' heads. You know, but you're my not... favorite is the black bird. I'm not gonna lie. Oh god, no! I'm oh, mine's the, the uh, mine's for sure the yellow triangle bird. He is he is the the go to because he got that boost and he can go I straight win. through. A, oh, good job! Uh, he has the boost where you can go straight through the uh, wood half the time. You know, I know he doesn't always work well. It's all about. Which it's one? not about. It's not even about what bird you. Which bird are you? Saying? The yellow triangle bird. No, his design is the is a boost. Board. Yeah, but what I'm saying is. Um, it's not all about that because sometimes you have to find the weak points and even the ice because that's the bluebirds. That's yeah. That you, if you hit it in you. just the right spot, but they don't have enough power. That's the problem. You have to do it late with them. But if you hit it in just the right spot, that's how you get it to crumble. And the pigs don't always fucking die when the things crumble now. So you got to know where to hit them when the shit's on top of each other too. It, it's, 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 it's a fun, it's, a 100% strategy it's game. but it's a fun, engaging game. Period. Angry Birds will never get old to me, no matter how many times I play it. And I like the uh, white bird that lays the eggs, the hen, mama hen or whatever. The the, uh, bomber. Yeah. Oh, she's dope. Especially if you drop it and then underneath something and hit it with her. She does double damage. (coughs) And then the eggs ain't no joke, dude. They explode and take out everything. Mm Mm-hmm. So, Angry Birds is still my favorite game on the app. I played Flappy Bird once when that was popular. (laughs) Sucked at it. Tried to sell my foe with an audit. For like a thousand dollars, like they were doing on eBay, <sighs> never got rid of it, so I just deleted the app. <laughs> Said fuck it. All right, so <laughs> this news is a few days old, right here. Then I'm about to. <laughs> oh boy! Oh god, the wow. rocket start cleared the mission. All right, so what other apps do you play? I don't now. Any okay? Well, we're still on a subject. Disregard the bell. Uh, 
I used to play Family Guy. The the one where you built Quahog back up after the hurricane. Yeah, and I I could go in there right now, and you would be like, "Damn, you were doing that?" Because I was doing it in Afghanistan at my when I was asleep. Oh. And we had a Wi Fi router at the USO mm-hmm. and shit, and I would go over there and lay down for a little while and fucking play, and I'd go back to my tent and sleep, or not my tent, my chew, and uh, dude, I mean my Quahog is like. Big. The majority of Kohog. and I did like all them each like every seven to ten days they would have a new the, the bet shit yeah but then they started slowing down but dude I got so many little fucking like Halloween guys running around and like uh, Fourth of July shit running around like it's all kinds of just different <laughs> shit the ghost shit when it was Halloween yeah. like they had uh, the ghost of that one dude with the mustache <laughs> the French dude and I got all that shit so um, nice a little background noise my uh, room AC just popped on. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, what happened? Wait, I didn't play. I played more than that too. I played. Uh, so the positive though to the AC is uh, cooling down in this motherfucker. Well, not even just that. Steve is taking the time to look into cheap offices to maybe. Oh yeah. Make this nicer for us. We might. We're looking into a studio. An office. So, um, yeah, that'll be a little ways out though. We're working on it. Other apps I play though. I used to play Candy Crush. But I got tired of that shit. That shit got old. I enjoy the match three games to a point, but it, the the basis behind it has to be something that I'm interested in. Like I play Marvel Puzzle Quest, which is a match three game, and but it's fighting with Marvel superheroes. Here, um, I play the Magic the Gathering Puzzle Quest, but I build a deck, and every time I'm, you make a match, you get so much mana. And you cast your creature, so I'm legitimately playing magic. But what is your favorite? We already know. I know. I think I know. What my favorite app? G- game app. To, app game to play. I mean, overall, to be 100 percent with you, it is uh, Pokemon Go. I knew it. I know. I mean, that's I'm a day one player. I was day one, and then I, day two, I deleted it. See, you deleted it when there was still like so much bugs not, and shit. Yeah. yeah, I get it, but I I seen what it was about, and I said, I ain't walking. See, but that's the thing. Now you're like, oh, I, I don't feel good, and I'm sore all the no, time. No, I can still exercise, but I wasn't walking to find Pokemon and up in somebody's yard and getting shot. Yeah, see, so you don't have to walk into somebody's yard. I walk all the way around the area. Well, rebuttal. Uh, my brother uh, told me that somebody walked in his backyard wants to catch a Pokemon. And he's like, what the fuck are you doing in my backyard? He's like, I'm catching a, sh- a Pokemon or some shit. And he's like, oh, get the fuck out of my yard. <laughs> okay, well, there are some dumbass That was players. earlier in the game, though. There are some dumbass players that give us bad names. Yeah. Well, I, I just... That. I. But I usually go to public locations, like Metro Parks yeah. and shit like that. So that way I'm not now my question, intruding on somebody's privacy. My question... or. I, if I'm walking around here, I don't go up in somebody's yard to do it. That's fucking stupid. No, I got it. But my question is, when you go to these metro parks and these gyms and these whatever, can you battle? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. You can now. They just added it. I, okay, this is year. this is what I'll tell you then. I will re-download it. And when you go do... I'm not going walking, but when you go to these places, I'll go. And I mean, you have to walk around a park, dude. No, that's fine. I'm I'm just not walking around the neighborhood and, and shit like that on looking at my phone and playing Pokemon Go. People are going like, what the fuck are you doing? Nobody questions it. Do you realize how many players there are in our area? No. I have, or I, for a while, was traveling with a group of probably like eight or nine. And then... Then they called you a gang. And now you're the Pokemon Go gang and you're going to get arrested. You're violent. No. You're a violent gang, aren't you? You're having battles and shit. Because when the cops show up, because if you're out at night and the cops show up, you, everybody in the group just goes and shows them the phone screen, and it's all Pokemon. He goes, oh, all right, well, you guys have a Except nice for the night. last guy who was retarded and has a big bag of weed on his or something. <laughs> Sorry, I was, uh, I was sitting out this, sitting out this round. Uh, I'm just looking at a little porn. <laughs> Here you go. He, he went away for public indecency that <laughs> night. <laughs> That'd be fucked up. But, uh... Yeah, that's cool. I'll do that. I can walk around the park. I'll try to catch some of these pokey bastards and shit, and then we'll battle. Can we battle like anywhere when we got a, a Pokemon? So like we don't have to be in an arena. 
So no. if I go catch them at the park, we can sit here. Okay, so here's the thing. So they have uh, friends on there now, or like for community day, if I go to one of these metro parks and I see somebody, and one of my research things is, hey, battle somebody. I can be like, hey, you, motherfucker, you have a weird face. Come Pokemon fight me. Oh, shit. We made eye contact, like in the video game. So... That's cool though. And you but can I'm fight saying them. so like if Or you... once you get to a certain level of friendship, like okay, so you know my brother plays as well. Uh yeah. The oldest one. Yeah, yeah, I got Okay. You. So I could load my text him, tell him to load it up, hit the battle button right here, and him in his city, which is a distance away from us. And you can battle. And we can fight each other. Get the Because we are a certain level of friendship. What the fuck? Okay. That's cool. I, I mean, can trade with I ain't you. bashing anybody for what they do. I just say, you know, certain things ain't for certain people, and I didn't think it was for me, but I'll try it. <coughs> I'll give it another chance. It's getting closer to the video games, but maintaining the, if it was the real world. I I mean, if you, if you're willing, I'll, I'll get going with you. You know what I really I've like? I've got a group of people. What I would really like, though? Is that fucking dishwasher again? No, no, no. That's the oven. Oh. What I would really like Hit this blow. is to play the Harry Potter one. I have that one too. Have you played it though? Yeah, I'm like a level six or seven. See, god damn it! Couldn't you just be a level one and that one since you play so much Pokemon, and then we could have started with that one together? I mean, I can use a different email address on the Harry Potter one. And start there you right. go. Okay, we'll do that. Uh-oh. I'd be willing to do that. So I will. Do and I have somebody that would actually roll with that one too. But the Harry Potter one, I can show you that. If one, it's not as good, tell me now. It, I don't. I prefer Pokemon. Because you're a Pokemon fan or because it's not No, I'm a Harry Potter fan, too. Okay. Dude, I've read all the books. I've even read The Cursed Child, the play. I actually bought that for somebody else. The Cursed the cursed Child? Yeah. Which takes place after the books. Nice. Okay. Alrighty. Dude, goddamn kids. You know what I say? Kids are the devil. Okay. So that's Harry Just Potter. Kidding. They pop up like this. You tap on it. You go into the the catch screen. Right. I've never seen one this pop. And it'll be like, oh, look, you found this. What the fuck? That's the quaffles. Or whatever they the are. What? The what? The big balls that fucking fly into the people. That's the first thing you can think that, of? I can't remember what they're called. They look like Quidditch. They, they're Quidditch balls, yeah. There you go. So, I thought you liked Harry Potter, and I had to answer that for you. Okay, I did it wrong. So, you trace the spell. Okay. And you might... That's pretty interesting. But that's all it is. Oh, look, I, I did win that So, one. you won one. Okay, so, Harry Potter, I'll try if I don't... If you recommend Pokemon, I'll just do I would, Pokemon. I would do Pokemon over Harry Potter, but okay. God's honest truth, man, the way that... Oh, it is called a quaffle. Eat dick. Ah, Eat was... dick. <laughs> I thought it was a Quidditch ball. It is a Quidditch ball. But it's a quaffle. Yes. It's, that's, a, that's, that's, that's a... J.K. Rowling has got a weird mind. Well, a, a quaffle not... sounds like a... a uh, I don't even know. It sounds something sexual. For some reason. <laughs> you, you quaffle. Yeah, that sounds like a bad, dirty word. <laughs> like, I just quaffled this chick. Or that chick just gave me a quaffle. Either way, like it's almost like a hummer, but she hummed your butt. <laughs> I just stuck it in her quaffle. <laughs> Jesus. See, when she came out with Dobby as a sex slave, it makes me rethink everything Harry Potter now. What? Wait, what? Like, do you think they could cut? No, I'm not even gonna say it. I'm not even gonna say it. People are gonna be like, "You're weird." <laughs> For Dobby equals furries. Oh, man, don't do that. Don't ruin Dobby for me even worse. Like, poor Dobby was a sex slave. He's one of my favorite characters. When he died, I shed one tear. I was sad. It was like you're like that Indian watching uh, <laughs> the tra- throw trash Trail of tears, yeah. Fuck me, man. No, Dobby died. I was like, no, Dobby. You I was like, that bitch, didn't, that bitch didn't get that knife through that portal. But uh. she did. So what do you got on our other list of random shit? I'm still thinking about Dobby and his 
Oh, sad, untim- untimely. Sad, untimely. Sad, untimely. Dad. You need a hug. No, I'm good. I'll text your daughter from your phone and ask her to <laughs> take care of that. All right. So no, we got some news that's a couple days old that I was saying. Uh, a fucking piece of shit. Look, I go through a lot, and I have a lot of things going on, but I try to maintain. But I would never, ever, 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 ever hug my child and then jump in front of a subway car. Okay? The dad died. The kid lived. Thank the Lord. Or whoever is up there. Or wherever they're at. Whatever you fucking believe. Thank that person. Or thing. And say, this five-year-old kid got to walk away because his dad, or her dad, I don't know, was selfish enough to do that. Okay, so I, I have the perfect answer for you trying to figure out what to say for thank the whatever. Are you ready for it? Yes. But first off, hold on. Before I say that, I most definitely have to say this. Are you ready? Pesky Cat Entertainment does not endorse the views of Steve Starr. <laughs> Nor Cash West. We just we just talk. Thank the insert whatever fictional religious hierarchy you believe in here. Quaffles? Quaffles. I'm, I'm going to pray to Quaffles. Thank Quaffles. <laughs> Thank Quaffles. We're okay. <laughs> I'm going to use that as a standardized word. I'm it's going to be fuck for me. Quaffle is not my fuck. I don't know, dude. I can't. Ah, Quaffle. I, I can't live without fuck. It's like the word. No, I could really replace that. And I, I couldn't. Probably get along better and maybe keep jobs. <laughs> <laughs> you're such a Quaffle. <laughs> you know, you're such a Quafflin idiot. Quafflin. Quafflin. Nah, we got to keep a Quaffle. Let's go choke on a Quaffle, you piece of shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Got a piece of quaffle. I'm having too much fun with this shit. All right. Oh, uh, this is what we need to be talking about. February 21st, 2020. The release date of The Last, the of, last of Us 2 <laughs> by Naughty exactly. Dog Entertainment. Dude, yeah. I'm so ready for it. You've got the William, we have a release date of Last of Us 2. February 21st, 2020. It was part of the state of play yesterday. They were the... What are you going to do? And they announced a really badass looking controller. Are you going to... Oh, yeah. It's switchable. You can move your joysticks and, and D-pad and stuff. And you can turn the right analog into a D-pad if you want. Yep. On PS4? Yes. PS4. You're going to get that game. I am going to get that we game. Are, we, and then what I'm going to do is beat it and then you can play it. I'm just kidding. You can play it while nope. I play. Like no nope. different save. Until he's done different to save play. port. So no, nope. he's got to wait until you're done to play it. Like yeah. like that way. He, like uh, Steve had to wait for uh, to play Spider Man. Yeah, we're live. Spider Man. You want to talk? No, we'll say hi live, to the people. No, we're, we're recording. recording. You want to say hi? That's my son. He's shy. Well, that's, apparently you that's are. Cash you Junior. Say hi, Cash Junior. Cash Junior. <laughs> All right, get out of here. Because. We're done. All right. See you later. All right. So February 21st, 2020, The Last of Us 2 release date. We will be streaming that game. Most definitely. It's right here. You can't play the PS4. It's in here. Sorry. Why is it illegal? Look, you're in the middle of my recording, son. People can hear us. You have a switch in the next And they're going to have to hear (laughs) some shit. No, I'm just kidding. All right. So Last of Us 2, I am really fucking excited for because The Last of Us original when it ended was i mean the whole fucking game was awesome i okay so i loved it but i don't think i've ever actually finished it so i don't think i've ever actually seen how it ends i don't remember i almost spoiled it for you then i was about to say i don't care i mean it's okay been out long enough I they get care. to the fireflies the main place yeah. where they're supposed to take her and they finally reach it and they find out they got to kill ellie to get the cure out of her brain and he was like now fuck that you ain't about to kill my girl because she's all I got left you know even though it's not his real daughter but he thinks of her like that now right he right. associates her as his, you know he lost his daughter in the he, beginning yep, at the beginning and so, so. Uh, Ellie is now his best friend and you know replacement daughter running you know like his she has his back she's killed a motherfucker for him and vice versa so you know 
And it, it, the fucking goddamn game was amazing, period. It is probably one of the best games I've ever played. And you could see my son's reaction. Like, he was trying, he was quiet about it. But if you guys seen him, you'd be like, damn, that kid's, like, freaking out. So he's, that's all he's talked about for the last year. Like, Dad, when's the last of us two come out? I'm like, I don't fucking know, man. <laughs> yep, they announced it with the state of play today. But the fucking fact is that Ellie's, like, what was she in the first one? Like thirteen? Yeah, she was. A- she's like seventeen, eighteen, maybe nineteen. There, there's one. a hang on. Let me look and see. There's it's not. And he's older, you know. He's jump. but still, dude. He's uh, it's. I mean, it's a few years. It's like four or five. I don't. She's definitely older and taller. She's she's a young woman. So, uh, Wikipedia, dude. All I know is I'm so fucking excited for this game because the graphics, first off, were amazing. The storyline was fucking amazing. The, just everything about it the we, the weapons how you fought I think I think everything was good the, yeah, the zombie like things were cool you know what I mean it's five years after the first so game. she's 19 no 18 so uh 18 it, yeah are you she was 13 in the first one uh, I'm gonna look at that one I'm 95% positive but, I'm almost... but the fact of the you know the collapse and all of the things were going on with the mutations and then the rebels and everything. It just all meshed together. The story was very well written and I can't, I just, I know the second one's going to be 10 times better. Naughty dog is a good company for gaming. I think, uh, that's just my opinion. You know, uh, what games do you guys like? Or are you excited for that's going to come out? I remember when spider came, man came out, you know, not too long ago and I was all on it and I played that shit forever. And then I stopped after I beat it and I haven't played it for a few months because when I do, it's going to be a full-out binge again, and I'm going to start over. Holy shit. Do you know who portrayed Ellie? Hang on. And I also haven't finished Red Dead 2. Proceed. Who played Ellie? I think it's that one girl. It's not Hit Girl, is it? No. Yeah, because she looks... So different. people say she looks a lot like Ellen Page? Ah, yeah. But... True that, that is the actress who performed her voice. No shit. Do you know who wait, 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 wait. So who'd they use for her face? I don't know. It was just a drawn uh, face? Uh, yeah, it was just okay. a generated. I know who that... That makes sense now. Who is she? Uh, she was... I'll tell you exactly who she is. Shit. She was in... Stop. Wait. Uh, okay. I can't remember. She was remember. in Growing Pains. What else? She was in the other, the other stuff. That's the youngest daughter in Growing Pains. Right. Like, how young was she then? Like, 10... But my thing is, she's been in a few. Oh, other she's things. in a bunch of yeah, shit. Yeah, she's in a lot of oh. shit. But I can't remember uh, her real she's name. She's been in What Women Want. What's her real name? Um, she, Ashley Johnson. Okay. Uh, Ashley Johnson portrayed Ellie. Who did Joel? Hold on, I'm skimming through her to see what. Yeah, I... pescycatnt at gmail dot com. What games are you looking forward to? What do you want? Gears Five came out not too long ago for the Xbox. Yep, your uh, your Patriot Cultivator guy streaming. Yeah, he, he's he, he yeah Patriot Cultivator. Shout out to him. Yeah, shout out to him. So, <clears throat> what do we got upcoming? Um, there is Pokemon Sword and Shield for the Switch. Pokemon Sword and Shield. Yep, it's the next generation. They've got a couple little interesting uh, variants for the region, like they did with. Uh, Sun and Moon. Oh, I got you. Yeah, my son had a bunch of them for 3ds, like X, Y, or some shit. I like or, those ones. Yeah, I, I mean, he liked them, but he stopped playing them. So well, that's the downside to those is there's you can sit and play them and play them and play them, but the replay value once you beat the main storyline and all of that uh, kind of goes away. Yeah, I mean, you can do it multiple times, but I would never do it back to back. That That's just kind of redundant and boring. Right. I always tried to finish out the decks, but nobody ever wants to... Uh, no, you're good. Keep going. <laughs> nobody ever wants to trade with me. <laughs> I, uh... They have, oh, the Pokemon decks? Yeah, mm-hmm. I need, I need to uh, get something like that. All right. What we're going to do in about... 30 seconds. That's a new game? That's a new game. Oh, let's, uh, we're gonna go to a break. We're gonna put a mid-roll ad in here. Oh, yeah. Because we forgot to pay attention to that last night. You're exactly right. So, we'll be back in about 
I think they're 60 seconds. No, they're 30 seconds. I got them set for I don't 30. know. I don't know if we have them set for 30 or 60. So we'll either be back in a minute or less. We'll just leave it at that with yep. you guys. We'll be right back. So, yeah. So now that we're back. We're back. I hope you didn't enjoy that ad. No, I'm joking. I hope it wasn't a crappy ad. I hope it wasn't shit. I hope it was. You would. So uh, there's a new Star Wars game. I like the Star Wars games. I'm going to be honest. I like them. What's this one called? Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Fallen Order. What is uh, the premise for it? Um, that you are a je- It takes place between episodes three and four. Really? Mm-hmm. So basically, it's a Jedi on the run after the execution of... Or, yeah, the... Order 66, which was kill all Jedi. Okay. How many others you got? Doom Eternal. A new Doom game? Yep. Ooh. What's what's up with that? Let me see. Is there a picture? There was, but I I just kept scrolling. You're a piece of shit. You look it up while I scroll. I don't want to. I'm talking to the people. These people want to hear my voice. They don't want to hear your voice. They do. They tune in for Steve Star. <laughs> Not the cash list. Oh, that's funny. I don't think so, sir. No, I'm pretty sure they tune in for they tune in for both of us. Of course they do, Steve. They do. <laughs> All right. What other games we got coming out? Uh, there was Halo in 2020, I believe I we had written down. Halo 2020. Yep. No, that's Holiday 2020. Yeah, Holiday. Holiday. So the game Holiday 2020. <sighs> Damn. Halo twi- <laughs> Halo Infinite is coming out Holiday 2020. Oh. That makes more sense. I thought you said Holiday 2020 was the game. No, you're dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm, I'm just gonna I'm be, just I'm just gonna throw that out there right now. You're I'm dumb. stoned. <laughs> I thought you I thought you said Halo and then you said the game Holiday 2020 and I was like Oh, what's holiday 2020? And because you were so goddamn distracted on your phone, you didn't hear me. And you're like, it's a game. And I'm like, apparently. Well. <laughs> so, my bad. Halo comes out. Ho- oh. What holiday? Christmas? Halloween? Usually holiday is the holiday season, which would be November, Thanksgiving. Somewhere between November and, and December. Gotcha. The, the first of the year. Okay, so Dying Light 2 is another. Yeah. When did that say it was coming out? I don't remember. I don't even know. Is Dying Light a zombie game? I think so. Poop. It's probably trash. How dare you? Uh, just being honest. What do you want me to do? <laughs> Upcoming movies, bitch. New segment. Upcoming movie? Yeah. Oh, no. Well, movie news. Put that thing down. I don't know what you have written over there. I'm not paying attention. Yes, upcoming movies. Oh, okay. Now, now you're going to move the notepad over here so I can actually see what you what we have scripted out in the order. Okay, there you, there that makes go. this life easier. Okay. All right. So, God damn it, Jurassic World Three. I have no idea what a uh, release date on that. What was it called? The Jurassic. It was just Jurassic World Three. Yeah, that's the running title. They'll give it a subtitle later. Okay, gotcha. Um, so we don't know an upcoming date for that. We do know that it's coming, and who will be in it? Well, I mean, the same people from the other two Jurassic World movies. Chris see. Pratt. And, um... What is her name? Hottie McCotterface. Yes. Super McCotterson. <laughs> she was also in an episode of Black Mirror. Tits McGee. No. That's what we... I could go with that. No, that's bad. No. What is her... Damn it. You, she played in, uh... That movie, uh, the M. Night Shyamalan movie, she The Village. She's in a bunch of movies. The Village, but that's um, that's where I've seen her. Uh, no, that's not it. Um, I like. I she also played that. in uh, that Water movie. What well, was like a weird? She was a weird. Uh, some kind of fucking character. I don't fucking know. Dallas Bryce Howard. That's her name. I'm pretty sure. No. I am almost willing to bet. Dallas Bryce Howard. Yep. How do you spell Bryce? B-R-Y? Mm-hmm. Bryce Dallas Howard. Oh, I had it backwards. That's really her. 
Di- Am I right? Dallas Bryce Howard. I was right. Bri- I'm sorry, Bryce Dallas Howard. I was looking at the wrong thing. Yeah. Bryce Dallas Howard. God, that's a fucking Bryce Howard is enough for me. I don't need Dallas in there. <laughs> anyway, the fact that I just pulled that off the tip of like the random. Oh God, I gotta stop doing that. That's like what? The tip of your tongue, bro. Tenth time I've done that to you. What? I can't think of this actor. Okay. Wait. Oh, it's this person. Yeah. So she's in it. He's in it. Who else is in it? Sam Neill. Sam Neill. One of the OGs of Jurassic Park. Who else? Laura Durham. His OG. Durham. I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. No. And the most important member of the Jurassic Park franchise, in my opinion, Jeff Goldblum. He's been in all all of them but two. And actually, I think he was in Fallen Kingdom, wasn't he? The second Jurassic World. I'm so, pretty sure. Then that means that there's only one Jurassic Park movie that he hasn't been in, and that was the first Jurassic World. Okay. I'll go with that. Wait, yeah, that's that's true. That is true. I don't remember him in that, so you're He right. wasn't. Yeah. It's a good call. Uh... Jeff Goldblum, amazing actor. Apartments.com, uh, new face, and makes pretty funny commercials. I, the dude I, was in The Fly remake. He's hilarious. The Fly was a good movie, the remake. He's uh, he's in Thor Ragnarok. Oh, he is. He's a very outgoing... Uh, uh, I can't even think of the goddamn word. Uh, but, yeah, good actor. Okay. Speaking of actors, hold on. What, why, why is this? What is ah, this? I'll talk about this in a minute. No, 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 no. I, I, before we, no, we're still this, on the subject of I actors. Don't, I don't care. I nope. want to know what this is about. I will not move. This can for, be the end of. This I will thing. not move forward until we talk about this because we're already there. All right. So I we got a little know. question for you that you can answer at pescicattynt at gmail dot com or in the comments on YouTube. Pescicattynt. Excuse me. Who is the better actor? Question mark, question mark. Okay? And we're talking about this for one reason. And I, I don't mean, or we don't mean, who is the better actor on grounds of maybe like, oh, well, this person was in this set of movies and I didn't like that, so I don't like that person. Right. Like, I don't like Twilight, but... I don't either. You have to take that out. But I have seen him in a bunch of other movies. That uh, I think Harry Potter. Amazing. Not just Harry Potter. I'm just saying he was in Harry Potter. Um, and I can't think of come on. Oh, but that. they were amazing. Um, ah, he's not that amazing, apparently. Okay, no, he's good. This is the this is the question: Who is better, Jonah Hill or Robert Pattinson? I'll give you my answer right now. You want it? Sure. You're gonna say Hill. I am gonna say Hill. Do you think he's ten million when yes. your when your star is making less than half that? It's not my fault. Worth. Jonah Hill on Wolf of Wall Street. Amazing. Jonah Hill. What's that newer movie where he was a journalist? Uh, I'm not sure. That was a good one. Uh, and I'm, you know, I'm not even trying to base it off the set of movies, but uh, Pattinson's not a bad actor. I liked him in his little Harry Potter role. Um, for Twilight, he was a bit. <sighs> whatever. But uh, I just, I mean, on the acting part, I think Jonah does a great job. I think he's hilarious. I think he conforms well to serious roles and comedy. And Pattinson really, he's just one-dimensional. So, of course, his way in Twilight and the way he acted, he'd be a good Batman because he broods and he, 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 I'm Batman. And Robert Pattinson in Twilight's like, I'm a vampire and I twinkle. You know what I mean? Like, he didn't really, he was short word. It was short sentences most of the time. That was a good movie. Cronenberg, Cosmo, Cosmo, what? Cron- no, it's directed by David Cronenberg. It's oh. Cosmopolis. Cosmopolis. Yeah, I don't like. That's a stupid title. Fucking title. But it's a great movie. Uh, What's it about? That was a great movie. I've never heard of any of these fucking movies that that tells you anything. How did this guy get Batman? Can I ask that? How do you go from Christian Bale to Ben Affleck to Robert Pattinson for Batman? This is not Michael Keaton, Val Kilmer. That was a good one. It's all love stories. 
It's not all love You stories. have to be able to that change. That one's a love story. Um, Water for Elephants, I believe. Was a love story? Ha- has... Guess what else was a love story? Uh, Fucking Twilight. Is it romantic? Everything drama? he's played in has been a romantic drama. Batman is not his forte. Cedric bro. Diggory was not. Okay, my bad. One role <laughs> where he was in one fucking Harry Potter. And Potty. the first one is a thriller. About? I'm about to reread the plot. It's been a long time. Have since you I've ever seen, seen the movie? Yes, I have. Where Deadpool, Ryan Reynolds, not Deadpool personally, but just Ryan Reynolds, uh, was in a. He was a gothic kid in a movie and he got killed or some shit. Or he may have killed somebody. Either way, it was a weird low budget movie and he was in it. And just goes to show you how far he's come as an actor because he was in two girls in a. Or two guys and a girl in a pizza place or some shit like that was the show. Do you remember that? Two guys and a girl in a pizza place? Yeah. Yes, I remember He was that. in that. Yes. He was hilarious in that. That's where he got his start. No, 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 no. He did a movie before that. I'm pretty sure, or it was directly after that, where he was a gothic guy. I think he gets killed in it. And it's like a cringy-ass fucking movie. But so was Green Lantern. <laughs> So, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. That guy, I mean, that guy is funny as shit, though. He's And this is the thing about him. He's done serious roles. You know? God damn it. Are you, are we gonna, are you gonna answer me here? I am, what, okay. Repeat that question. Ryan Reynolds. He is a great actor. Yes. He is fucking hilarious. And, and he can transition good. to serious roles. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I was rereading the plot of that movie so I could be like, yeah, it was about this because I've seen it like maybe three times when it first came out because it was really weird and I had to watch it multiple times to understand it. Uh, you know who else is a good actor? Who? Jared Leto. He's not a good joker. <laughs> not at all. <coughs> That's okay. Everybody gets a fuck But up. in fairness, in fairness, the some of the scenes that he did shoot Never made it into any of the movies. So, for all we know, those were amazing ass scenes and they just got cut for context. Well, why would they put the shitty scenes in? Because most of them were shit. That part when he was with um, Harley Quinn and uh, Common, who was just a street thug in the movie, and Joker shoots him in the nightclub because he asks if he wants to be with his girl or whatever. That was a stupid fucking scene. I just the way they, he talked, they shit. really wrote the Jared, the Jared Leto wrote. So, okay, so you can't necessarily blame a role one hundred percent on an actor. No, I didn't say that. He gave he gave he was doing whatever script he was given. Exactly, and how he interpreted said script he was given. So, like the part where he's like, "You don't want beef," like he said it all fucking weird. Like he was almost trying to say it in a Spanish accent, but as a as mental <laughs> weirdo. We had, we had, I don't know, dude. It's just Hispanic was, Joker. It was cringy as fuck. Okay, but uh, yeah, I didn't like him as Joker, but he's a good actor, man. Requiem of a Dream, uh, Mr. Nobody, um, Steve's hitting the bong and pointing at me like a wild man. Requiem for a Dream. I can't believe <laughs> Slow down, Chief. I'm we got excited. time. I'm excited. I'm sorry. I cannot believe that you actually know Requiem for a Dream. I, I don't know that. anybody who knows that movie. And I love that movie. <laughs> Jared Leto's a fucking heroin addict. His girl goes has sex with a drug dealer to get him more heroin. He loses his arm to heroin. His best friend, one of the Waynes brothers in the movie, uh, plays in the movie. And um, he goes... I mean, it's just a fucked up movie. But it's a good movie. That that dude has his girl doing another girl with a double-sided dildo in front of a bunch of the dudes to get drugs money. It's it's weird. And his mom's like on uppers and shit. And she goes crazy. The whole fucking movie. <laughs> if you've never seen Requiem for a Dream, go watch it. It is a really good movie. I highly, highly, highly it's, uh, it. It's 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 back and forth a lot, too. You gotta, you gotta stay up with it. It's just... That, the directing of it was was great. These waters are really fucking good. So, movies. 
Steve's over here fucking drawing Green Arrow on the page. I mean, everywhere I look or everything I hear out of his mouth is Green Arrow. It drives me insane. He's a good character. Yeah, I guess. Whatever you say. I'm not giving him the time of day just for the fact that I've stuck with it and I'm not changing my stance on it. It's because you're hateful. What? Well, what show do you hate that you would absolutely not watch? None. I give everything a chance. I give everything at least two. Oh, hi, Mark. I give that a chance, and I fucking stopped it after like 30 seconds. And then you were told by multiple other people that you have to (laughs) watch it it multiple times. Small doses. Small doses. You have to walk away and come back. There's a a lot of movies that were shitty, though, that I like watched and gave gave a chance. Like... uh, and then you were like, man, why did I watch this? What's no, that I movie that on Netflix up. with the dude that dressed up like a clown? It's a low-budget-ass movie. I know you've seen it. Uh, Is it the horror movie? Yeah. Where, like, the clown mask sticks to his face? It's. I think it's makeup. Uh, he becomes the clown? No, 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 no. That is a fucking weird movie. I gave that a chance, and I was like, um... Where the clown mask becomes him, he becomes a clown, yeah, and then like he dies hair, in the end? His hair starts falling out, yeah, yeah. his feet actually become the shoes. That was an okay movie. That was weird as fuck, and yeah. then I, at the end, I'm like, yeah, I'm probably never gonna watch this again. No, this one's called, like, Terrifier, or, uh... No, I don't think I've seen that one. It's on... Dude, I don't really watch Netflix. I... I can't remember if it's called I that or something else. other things that I pay for that I, allow me to watch. Well, I get it, but, um... Sometimes you just have like Netflix. Some of their original movies are okay, and some of them suck. Like you I know did. what I don't like, and I I stopped watching was Stranger Things. I did watch the uh, the Black Mirror movie. I love Netflix. I, oh, bang, uh, ba- uh, Bandersnatch. Bandersnatch. I haven't seen that. Um, and the only reason why I gave that the uh, the time of day is because I was reading about it, and it's like it's a choose your own adventure movie. Yeah, that's what I want. I want to watch like, it. Ooh, so I went and watched it. And I was then, right. It's called Terrifier. 2016. Nice, nice. And it was a 78% like this movie. 64 on Rotten Tomatoes. No shit, it was above 50. A maniacal clown terrorizes three young women and anyone else in his way on Halloween night. Budget, $100,000. The same as Oh Hi Mark, The Room. Didn't he raise $100,000 or was it more than that? No, 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 I'm sorry. Holy shit, he raised $6 million, I forgot. He raised fucking $6 million. Tommy Wiseau raised $6 million for that movie. I'm swear, checking I that. swear to God, man. A room budget. Yep, six million. I you. told you. Oh God! So they made that movie on. Here's that money. movie was called Clown, the one you were talking about. Yeah, I think so. No, that's it. Eli Roth made it. What? Yeah. There's that's one. That's... There's a clown called, or there's a movie from 2016 called 31. It's a clown. I feel like that's a Rob. Zombie 2019. Movie. I feel it? like that's a Rob Zombie movie. It, I don't know. Oh yeah, 31 is a Rob Zombie movie. But I never finished it. I didn't like it. Fear he, that well, he is really hit or miss. I mean, he's yeah. good at what he does. Yeah, and he makes great music, but he's really hit or miss with his movies. He was on Cupcake Wars, making vegan cupcakes, man. So I don't know. No. No, he was on it. I watched the episode. Rob. Why does it say Terrifier 2018? What? There's another one. No. I don't think so. There's multiple. Ep- Things called Terrifier. Is Terrifier a sequel? Terrifier 2 it comes out in 2020. Terrifier 2, 2020. After being resurrected by a sinister entity, Art the Clown... His name's Art. I didn't know that. Art the Clown returns to Miles County where he must hunt down and destroy a teenage girl and her younger brother on Halloween night. Why must he destroy this teenage girl and her younger brother? <laughs> I don't get it. I didn't finish it anyway. That's the problem. So you have no idea. Maybe that teenage girl and her younger brother were the only two that survived his first rampage. The guy that made the movie played the clown. All right, that movie sucks. <laughs> it's it's really not that good. <laughs> and, and but the, it's a, above a fifty on Rotten Tomatoes, man. Come on now. Oh my God! Look at this. Dread Central reports. Terrifier two, all caps, will be ten times bigger than part one. Oh, part one was shit. So wait, you said it was made on ten thousand, a hundred thousand dollars. How yeah, much? Its budget was a hundred thousand, which obviously it has a cult classic following. It says. Uh, so it's made some money. See what its gross was. Nope, I don't care. Director Damien Leone's horror introduces us to terrifying Art the Clown. It's just a so shame. Wait, so wait, so that means that the up. budget this time around is a million dollars if it's ten times better. Oh, so care. he would have to pay ten times the budget. Or Let's twenty see. times the budget. <laughs> 
Okay. Here we go. It was October 16th, 2018. They released it. Oh, yeah. This was a lot of the critics' thing, though. It says it was missing depth and a point. Um, you know, if it's just... Like, some people on Reddit are like, can someone explain the ending of Terrifier for me? Uh, you know, nobody nobody ends up knowing. Here's a spoiler one. So, spoiler alert. Uh, you have one minute to stop listening. Or you have one minute where you don't need to listen because we're going to look at this. Alright, so it's about Terrifier. It's the ending and it's spoiler. So, if you haven't seen it, stop listening. So, I just finished Terrifier. Pretty fun slasher film. Although, I don't understand why Victoria killed the interviewer in the beginning. Does art influence people or something? Uh... Some people come on to say a few different reasons. Okay, so one guy says, I think Art the Clown is some sort of supernatural being. He shoots himself in the head, and then a few months after that, he strangles the doctor. Plus, he is able to make the lights flicker. So I'm guessing he's some sort of a demonic influence. Maybe, or he, maybe he or the evil surrounding him was able to possess her. I like the movie, but I don't know how much thought went into it. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, well, listen to this. The screenwriter for Jurassic Park, Spider-Man, and Mission Impossible has a new thriller. David Cope, Co- Cold Storage. It's a new book. You should check it out. Dude, I'm done listening to talking about movies. Tell me what this is about. I want you to keep me intrigued by that. And I'm not going to tell you until next show. No. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You have eight minutes. What's it Start talking. I don't even know what LA talking. gangbangers. Oh, man. Don't get me killed. Now, I told you, don't get me killed. Uh, no, no, you tell me what that's about. Why you have that written on the page? Because I follow a page on Facebook called Combat War Footage. And it is what it says. It is war footage from combat situations. And no shit do I come up on this video where these two gangbangers are in the middle of fucking Syria. Like, what's up, homie? Serenio's 13 gang, homie, and all this shit, right? So they're out there in the middle of fucking Syria behind this wall. With the AKs, and they're like, they're fucking throwing up set signs, and they're in a video talking about their gangs in LA and how they're still in the middle of Syria gangbanging. Well, they're in the middle of Syria gangbanging, not because of the goodness of their heart to go help whatever side. They were both deported, one in 2010, one in 2012, back to Syria because they were Armenian and Syrian descent in LA, you know, on whatever, either illegal or legal, whatever visa or whatever right. they had. And they were deported for some reason or one or the other. Maybe it was a, a crime or something for gangbanging or whatever they did. Um, but anyway, they were deported and they were back over there fighting. I think on Assad's side is what some of them were saying and firing at the rebels. And apparently after the video was recorded, they did, they got... Well, one of them supposedly got killed. The other one I think is still alive. Maybe. It's hard telling because the tattoo on his head doesn't look the same in the video when they were doing it. But it was crazy, man. They were just like in the middle of Syria like... U.S. fucking West Coast gangbang and throwing up gang signs and shooting the AKs at the other the enemies. <laughs> but then it was said they died. So that's what it was. And I was like, this video can't be fucking real. But it was fucking real. Wow. Do you want to see it? No. I'll, I'll figure it out. We can watch it after the show. Yeah. Um, it was pretty crazy, man. Them dudes were like fucking... I mean, they were they were they were about it though. They got out there and was fucking pop pop pop. Yeah. So and they called him the <laughs> in amigas. He was like speaking Spanish and shit, bro. I mean, I get it living over there and shit with all the Hispanic dudes. And he must have been a, the Serranos is obviously right. a Hispanic gang, but he's right. Syrian and Armenian and shit. But they let him in. But right, right, right. That's crazy. It is crazy. Uh, it was crazy video, but uh, yeah, that's what that is. So now you know. Oh, I had to pause it real quick on my recording. I had a sharp pain <laughs> in my head. All right, so uh, yeah, L.A. gangbangers throwing up for the homies in the hood, shooting at Syrian rebels. Nice, nice. That was a while ago, though. I guess it was an older video, but it was cool to come across. But yeah, so that's all I got for tonight, man. Um, well, we filled an hour again. Smoked a nice blunt, smoked a couple bong rips. 
ask some questions, questions that we're not going to get answered. Oh, we'll get them answered. No. People are listening, bro. They might listen, but they're not emailing us. They're afraid us to email up. us and tell us their thoughts so we can talk about it on air. They don't. They, you can give us an. We'll keep it anonymous, you know. We won't say your name. Give us a phone. You can give us whatever thought you want. Just don't fucking send us no politics shit. Yep. And you can sign it however you want. Trust. We'll use whatever name you give us. Yeah, like Tickle McBalls. If that's what you want to be called, that's what we'll call you. I I don't know about that. I'll call you Tickle McBalls if that's what you like. I mean, everybody likes their balls. (laughs) (laughs) No, but seriously, we'll we'll, uh, we'll keep it anonymous. If you don't want your name said, if you do, we'll, we'll say your name. But uh, just tell us what you think about anything. We asked you who is the uh, better actor, Jonah Hill or Robert Pattinson. Uh, we asked about your opinion of Last of Us. Yeah. What you think about The Last of Us 2? Because I am excited for it. And, you know, I'm kind of excited for New Halo, even though I don't play Xbox. I'd like to see the gameplay. Um, because I used to love Halo. I hate Halo. Why? Yeah, I, I'm a Sony loyalist. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Um, talked about... The stupid ass fucking guy that had no reason being a father jumping in front of a subway train with his kid. Don't be selfish. Kill yourself, not your kid. Okay. Uh, and and Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. And beer, bro. If you drink, there you go. You like Pizza Hut? You like beer? Get down to Pizza Hut and eat some pizza. And drink you some beer. Is that boobs? That is not boobs, sir. That was just a random Mayan drawing that I was coming up with. It's the 2012 ending of the world. We're already dead, remember? No, I was just drawing circles. So, um, yeah, we talked about a good amount of dumb dumb shit like we always do. Um, what are you drawing? No, it's boobs. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I am looking forward to uh, Jurassic Park, Jurassic World 3 as well. So, yeah. I was looking forward to Jurassic Park 3 as well. It was a really good movie. So when you guys hear the show like this, it is obviously not scripted. It is all improv, and sometimes we sound like fucking idiots, but sometimes we have good shows. So we are going to have a show Friday, a character building show um, for D and D. As far as you know, that's still going through. Yeah, he texts me. Oh shit! I need to text him back. How many people are doing this? Uh, me and you for sure. One, two. We need to know for sure who, because we got to set it up. He needs to know how many character sheets he needs to make. Tell him four or I told, five. I told him four or five already. Yeah. But I said I'll give you a solid number. Yeah, no, just roll with four or five and we'll see who shows. Well, I suggest we text some people. I'm like, you don't show, you die. No, I can't We do will that. come for your children. No, I'm just kidding. But seriously, we need we need a good amount of people. Like four or five would be cool. So uh, I need to learn. And obviously, I don't want to learn with just like two people. That would be boring. So we need to figure, figure it out. Well, I'll see what I can do. Okay. All right. Until next time. Oh, social media plug. Yeah, because somebody deleted the outros because I don't like them. They sounded like shit. What do you want me to do? I'm a perfectionist. All right. Record them, suck it up, and deal with the fact that they didn't sound that bad. That's what I expect you to do. At the Open Mic Show Podcast on Facebook. ENT Cat on Twitter. We're getting pretty big on Twitter, man. We got a couple followers. Got like nine. Shout out to the legendary Larry D for giving us a follow. Yeah, that's what's up. Rockstar Pro Wrestling. All right, uh, shout out to them. Uh, there was a title match there tonight we, we missed, unfortunately, uh, between Clayton Gaines and Dave Christ. Member of OVE and over there in that Impact Wrestling. So, shout out to them. Um, what else? Uh, the Open Mic Show. On IG, it's all underscores between that. And what else do we got? Oh, iHeartRadio, Spotify, Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, where you can listen to us, and YouTube. You can more or less find us everywhere you can listen Twitch to a podcast. You can find us on Twitch. Is our game stream for Steve Star. YouTube is our game stream for Cash West. Pesky Cat ENT on both of those. Uh, you can also go generally find uh, at least us talking, not our gameplay, over on uh, Twitch.tv, Odin Wisdom. Mm-hmm. He's our good friend, uh, Wolf. Patriot underscore Cultivator on Mix, or what is it, Mixer? Yeah, he he's a friend, Xbox. but you usually can't find us. Yeah, Xbox. 
Um, I was only giving places you can find us. <laughs> yeah, well, we're, I'm giving streams for everybody that we mess with. So, uh, I want to get him views too, man, because that helps us when he gets more people, and then more people see that he's getting followed, then he can shout us out and be like, "Oh, let's go check those guys out." Well, I mean, he should be shouting us out anyways because we've been shouting. Oh, he him does. Out. He does. He shouted us out the other night. So, all right, uh, that's it for the social media. Please well. go give us a like, subscribe, uh, follow. Tweet us, add us. All right, so here it is. As far as places to go and listen, give us the follow. If it's on YouTube, give us the like. Give us the subscribe. If you've got us on uh, Twitch, give us the follow. Be active in our chat. Um, Talk to us on Facebook. Talk to us on Twitter. Email us. Just hit us up. We're interested in what you have to say. We are, hence the term or title, The Open Mic Show. It's not just us. We want to hear from you. Our fans. All right, that's it for tonight. Until next time. Our fan. I am Cash West. (laughs) I'm Steve Starr. We'll see you then.